Hello viewers, welcome to this video. I want to show you new Office 2019 and this is MS Word 2019. So many features has been added, which is uh, indeed a nice one. I want to start from the backstage view, which is clicking on the tab. When you come to this place, there is something like exports. Here, you have the option to create a PDF document of your file. For example, when I click uh, create, I have a save as type here, which is in PDF. I choose a location and say publish the content of my page will be turned into a PDF file and this is what I have before I was able to achieve this same thing when I go to file save us that is a description. Then under save as type, I come back here and choose video, which is still. When I click on save, I still have the same results. So whichever one you decide to use. You always arrive at the same place. I want to check on one thing again. Change file type. Now I want to save this document for example. And I say save. Just desktop. And I give it the name computer position 1. Now the file type is DOCX. Now I'm curious to know how to change the file type from what it is to another file type. So this I'm going to try now. I want to choose this, just a text, and say save. Then here I'm going to say save. Let's see, okay. Then I need to go to my desktop, and here is my saved document. Now it is saved from DOCX to TXT, uh, which is equivalent as Notepad. Wow. Also, then going back to that same place, let me see if I can get more options. So, with this, it means you can save your document, your page, even to a web page uh, format, and so on, like that. Now, let's come back now from the backstage view to the main tabs. Um, Looking at these places, you can see there's nothing has been added to the home tab. The home tab remains the same. Even when you go to the next tab, which is the start tab, uh, just few changes here. Like uh, when you go to cover page, I believe there is going to be some new design that were not available in the previous. Uh, versions of Microsoft like this. I'm just saying this for the first time. So that's that about co the cover page. Now something has been added here, which is the 3D models. I'll figure out how to use this later. Then 
have the chat. It's been much here uh, what we have before. Okay, trim map. I think this is new. This should be new as well. So that's that bank chat. Now going to this place, find and insert videos on varieties of online sources. It's a kind of inserting a video online into your MS Word document. So from this tab, we go to the next one, which is the design tab. And yeah. it's pretty much the same. Let's see this uh, addition here. Then we move to the layout tab. And um, from what I can see, how much has been done here? Go to reference. Then I'm so so interested um, with this view tab. So so interested in this tab because we have so many new additions under this tab. Now normally when you scroll your page, it moves from up to down, from down to up. That is because the vertical is responsible. Now we have the option to scroll from side to side. This is it. So instead of going up and down, the document will move from left to right and from right to left. This is wonderful. But the only thing I don't like about this is that you don't get to zoom the page or you don't get to zoom the page to a selected a, um, zoom level that you need the page to be. But I believe in the sessions to come, it should be able to allow us to zoom this side to side page the way we zoom the vertical. This is what I mean. It's on vertical now. I can zoom my page from 50 to 100 uh, to okay, now it's, it's uh, 500. But when you switch over to side to side, then the zoom feature is turned off. And you don't have that privilege anymore. This is nice, but it should give us the ability to zoom to whatever level we want to get to. Now there's something here which I love so much, new window, this is how this works, if you check here, I have just a document open on my desktop, but when you click new window, it's going to open another uh, document of the same document you have open on your system. This was the first one, and when I say new window, this second one was open for me. And if I come here and say new window, the third one was open. So that's how this works. Now let's look at arrange all three windows in arrange horizontally across my screen okay then this split here is a very nice one I like using it all the time it enables you to um, split your screen into two places so that you can go to different pages of the document while the other uh, part is still in one position for example I can scroll to page 1 
this is page one here of the same document and I can be on any other page on the second uh, segment this is useful if you want to compare things in the document you can also adjust the split so that you have more space on any play any part you want to or you decide to to see much of the work that's going on there so if you don't want this anymore you say remove split and uh, Goes away now. Here I still have one window in case I have um two windows now, and I want to switch between one one um, document and another, like uh, this is a uh, um, this is my first document. When I say switch window. I'm given the opportunity to choose any other document that is open on my computer at that time. So you use that to switch from one document to another. Now here is another feature that I like so much, which is the zoom. It enables me to display my document and pages in different ways. Here I have one page, and that is one page showing on my screen. If I see multiple pages, I have uh, more than one page. And if I say page width, it takes the document and fits, it, fits the document to the width of my screen. This is indeed handy when you're working with a document that has a lot of pages. So this is uh, pretty the new things that are important to me, which um, Office uh, made available in 2019. Another thing is um, for those wondering, is this Universal Document Converter part of Office 2019? No, it is not part of 2019. It's just an add-on. When you store some certain software to your computer, it adds extra tab to your office. So this is not part of Office 2019. This can enable me convert my document to any of this. It's as simple as that. Well, Office is a uh, really trying keeping the game up. We hope to see more the um, future updates and versions. Now, before I say, I want to look at um, Excel. I discovered that so many, so many features has been added to Excel. I'm going to take out my time to go through this Excel, find out those new features, and probably teach you how to make use of those features. Right now, I have a series on Excel going on, but I had to pause because I wanted uh, to use uh, Excel 2019. To complete that series. So, in no time, I will continue with the series and I will teach you how to use Excel from beginner's level to the uh, professional level. I've been teaching Excel to my students for years now and I believe I know how to break it down so that even the young man out there. Can understand how to use Excel and how important Excel can be in your day to day life. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video here now. Thank you for watching and have a very nice day. See you soon.
Bye.